All right, guys. I know I've been posting a shit ton of videos lately. But I wanted to ramble real quick about something. So I've been doing, I've switched from the two-arm no-hangs to the one-arm no-hangs, but I've noticed something yesterday, right? When I'm hanging from these, you know what I mean? If my feet off the ground, or feet on the ground, rather. I've been kind of, just for proprioception, especially uh, during the day when I do these, when you know, the lights, <laughs> lights out at night, it's a little harder. <laughs> I guess I could turn some lights on, but I'm gonna like, wake up my neighbors. But I notice, when I look at like, my elbow, or my shoulder, my lat, as I'm pulling again to kind of get that mind-muscle connection, you see what I'm doing. Make the, make the exercise more potent, you know what I mean? Uh, I've noticed like my triceps like trembling, right? Obviously just from contracting and the nervous system kind of going wild. And it's like, you know, kind of shortening and lengthening a little bit as I'm like pulling. So therefore it is an isometric, but there's a significant amount of like micro movement going on almost to the point where it's not even really a micro or not even really a isometric exercise more like a partial range exercise and i got me wondering been having these uh gotta close this freaking screen they love the bugs then you know what i'm saying magnetic pretty cool very cheap if you don't have a screen door. How do you like that tangent? <laughs> but yeah, I was like, hmm. I've been having these elbow issues, my left elbow, ever since I hyperextended it like, I don't know, a month and a half ago now. And I've been noticing that sometimes after the no hangs, I'll have a little bit of that elbow pain returning, which, Kind of confused me because usually isometrics so seem very therapeutic and kind of get rid of any pains I have. But as I was looking at you know myself doing that this morning, I was like, hmm, there is a significant amount of micro movement. Maybe I'm actually getting too much movement in my triceps tendon as I'm pulling. And it got me thinking last night when I was pulling this baby. You know, I'm grabbing it, and I'm using my legs, my hips, my feet to drive into the ground as I'm pulling. And what that did eventually was I'm pulling and pushing with my legs so hard that it's locking my elbow and, like, my shoulder into place, right? you know, lats and stuff, and, like, the shoulder girdle is completely engaged, and nothing was moving, because it was all locked, you know, and I was pulling with, like, more of my lats, and again, pushing with my legs and hips, and even though I <laughs> did, like, two workouts yesterday, um, to do finger strength, when I did the kind of over isometric, overcoming isometric pulls when I failed the 140 pound lift, it felt really good. It like kind of stretched me, stretched my sore elbows, and that felt like more of a pure isometric movement. There was very, very little micro movements going on, and certainly nothing uh, visibly significant in terms of like my triceps, you know, shortening or lengthening. And it felt my elbows felt freaking great after that. You know what I mean? Even though I was lifting, <laughs> doing maximum uh, capacity lifts or whatever, you want to say limit, limit lifts, uh, I woke up feeling not sore at all. And I just felt like I had done like a no hang session or something. So with that in mind, I was like, you know what? I will continue to do the one arm no hangs, but I think maybe, uh, you know, let's say I did those in the morning, I think at night, you know, six hours at least later, I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna hit this up and just do isometrics on this. Already, that's a weight I, I can't lift. So, you know, there's gonna be no movement when I pull from it, right? And it's a little more full body, it seems, than the no hangs are, because again, like, my feet are like kind of barely touching the ground. And I am actually lifting a little bit, like a portion of my body weight when I'm doing the no hangs. Whereas with the lift, the isometric lifts, maybe you can call them no lifts. <laughs> um, again, I'm not, there's no movement really. I'm just like, full body contraction, not going anywhere. No shortening and leafing of my triceps, you know, which are kind of inflamed right now, at least my left side is. That might be more beneficial. And also, it's just more full body. And I'm getting that leg and hip drive pushing into the ground while I'm pulling with my lats and my fingers. That it, it could be just, in general, better than a no hang. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. I'm going to experiment with it for a while. Maybe do half no hangs, half no lifts, I'll call them. <laughs> but I have a feeling that perhaps... The no lifts could be just in general more beneficial despite any kind of, you know, tendon pains I'm having. It could just be overall more beneficial. I know, just a thought, guys, you know. Anyway, that's about it. Sorry, I'm making so many damn videos. <laughs> but I know y'all like the talking videos because you can kind of listen to it and not have to watch it. You know, I mean, kind of like a podcast or some shit. So, whatever. Anyway. Peace out and keep crushing like usual. Later.